and we're finally we finally figured it out. Um, and I think it's it's the way that all electric cars in the future will ultimately be made. Tesla has always been a rebel of sorts, and this became extremely prominent in 2023, the year of the Gigapress 9000T. It weighs about the same as five space shuttles, and it takes 24 flatbed trucks just to deliver it from the manufacturer. Also, it doesn't even fit inside the original Tesla factory. So, why did Tesla install the Gigapress 9000T? And how will those giant machines create an advantage over the competition? And will every single car manufacturer now be forced to follow suit or fall behind? Okay, maybe that last question was a little rhetorical, but you get the idea. In any case, we'll find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Elon Musk is a man on an insane mission. He's ceaselessly hunting for clever ways of making his day job at Tesla dragging mankind into the electric vehicle era happen faster by using the Gigapress. Interestingly, the name Gigapress was actually coined by IDRA, which goes with Tesla's Gigafactory. The total weight of this mammoth of a machine, the 9000T, is actually 688,200 kilograms. I want to say 1,517,221.29 pounds. And this includes 27,300 kilograms or 60,186 pounds of water glycol. It is no surprise then that this would be the largest giga casting machine ever built. It's calculated that each of these gigantic 9,000 ton giga casting machines weighs as much as 347 Tesla Model Y long-range SUVs. On the Gigapress, uh, we were completely forced to redesign the system. And we came up with some uh, very innovative ideas that have completely changed, I'd like to say revolutionized, what we do. But what model will be produced by this Frankenstein of a machine? Musk has also previously stated that he wants to simplify the production of Tesla's vehicles by building them like die-cast plastic toy cars, using fewer larger pieces instead of many small ones. Thus, this 9000T die-cast machine is critical to putting the Tesla Cybertruck into production, which has already been delayed by a couple of years and is scheduled to start next year at Giga Texas. Moreover, this will be good news for those who are expecting a cheap Tesla car. The massive machine may actually be used for the 25,000 affordable car in Texas, which is expected to be unveiled in the near future. Musk has also mentioned in the past that his vision is to make vehicles with single-piece castings, similar to how tour makers like Mattel produce, hey, I just said that, produce Hot Wheels cars. With this in mind, Tesla's $25,000 car may be the perfect candidate for some new innovations, including an underbody that's built from a single cast piece. It can be said then that the Gigapress 9000T requires a lot of investment and space for installation, so Tesla must have seen the clear benefits before committing to them. The fact is that the Gigapress 9000T is a game changer in the auto industry, but exactly what advantages does it create? Well, to put it simply, it can all be just summed up by saying efficiency. The advantages are enormous when comparing the speed of the Tesla Gigapress with the traditional car making process. It will be like comparing the speed of a Ferrari with that of a bicycle. Moreover, according to experts, the Gigapress 9000T will help achieve a 50% reduction in rear underbody manufacturing costs. This is a big step towards creating a cheap $25,000 car as well as future products, which will reduce the price significantly. For comparison, with supply chain issues and rising inflation plaguing manufacturers, it's not entirely surprising to see consumer prices rising these days. Some F-150 models are up by six to seven thousand dollars for 2023, while Chevy has increased the MSRP of the Silverado three times so far this year. And so far, Tesla has more than enough capacity to crush Ford and other companies and create a wave of cheaper selections. Not only that, the new single-piece casting design will deliver a 40% reduction in the size of the factory body shop. 
Tesla can save by installing 600 robots and that will allow them to operate the entire production line with a significantly reduced footprint. This means faster production times and lower costs. The GigaPress 9000T also improves efficiency as it delivers chassis that are free from defects, unlike the ones made by welding and bolting parts together. Thus, there are no misaligned parts to worry about when making Tesla cars. So, these Tesla cars will be of higher quality and safer than other competitors. If the GigaPress is then as advantageous as it seems, which is apparently enough to allow Elon Musk to compare the production of its cars to toy cars, why aren't other automotive conglomerates rushing to replicate the same formula? Tesla has a huge list of competitors that include BMW, Nissan, GM, Ford, and many more. It appears that some veteran automakers are currently preparing to adopt the technology for their next generation of electric vehicles. And first up seems to be Volvo, which it recently noted that its Torslanda factory in Sweden, one of the company's oldest and largest plants, has a plan for the utilization of GigaPress and is expected to start around 2025. Volvo is yet to announce if it is also purchasing GigaPresses from the IDRA group, the company currently producing Tesla's machines. That being said, the automaker did state that it was speaking with leading machine manufacturers to help the company make the switch to megacasts at the Taurus Landa site. But interestingly enough, it is not just Volvo that is looking to adopt GigaPress for their future vehicle production. Other automakers such as German luxury car maker Mercedes-Benz are reportedly looking to utilize single piece casts as well. Mercedes-Benz is reportedly looking to utilize GigaPress to form the rear of its EQXX concept. However, they have to overcome a lot of hurdles ahead to keep up with Tesla. Firstly, the GigaPress is expensive. It will require a complete redesign of the models that the manufacturers have built their reputable brand from. It would require a complete redesign of the supply chain and it will require expensive production lines designed to pay themselves over and many years to be discarded. And as those on the boards continue to obsess over quarterly numbers from a profitability perspective, replacing depreciated machinery with new ones would not make much sense. Moreover, even if brands were to consciously make the decision to convert their methodology, they cannot order any gigapresses. IDRA can only develop nine per year, all of which have been commissioned by Tesla. In short, with this money printing machine, I predict that Tesla will profit massively. And game-changing innovations like the GigaPress are what keeps them at the top of their league. How do you feel about the GigaPress 9000T? And how many years will it take for another automaker to catch up with Tesla? Also, when will the new generation of low-cost Tesla cars be brought out? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.